everyone, Julie here from Live For Art uh, and I'm going to test some different ways of applying uh, the paint with silicon oil in it. I'm actually putting on gloves which I rarely do but I've just done so many classes recently I'm just a bit sick of having paint under my fingernails all the time. Okay, so these are leftover, leftover paints from some um, creating cells with silicon oil class uh, and so they've probably got various amounts of oil in whatever the students have put in but they've been sitting around for a few days I'm just going to put one drop in just to freshen, freshen them up and they're only small amounts anyway so freshen up the oil so I'm using the Live For Art 1000 CST Dimethicone I'm just going to give them a give them a good stir. Yeah, so I I often do usually do flip cups with um, with the oil, but I also have done some open open pour cups. I don't want to stir that one too much. It's got gobbly bits on the bottom. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd just do three different styles of delivering the paint to the canvas and just see what a difference that makes with the cell formation. Now this is old paint, so it may not perform old paint and old silicon oil in most of it but it may not perform as well but we'll see how we go. Okay so let's take some of these off. So I'm just going to do three cups. I'm going to do an open a flip cup um, and then a couple of open pours. One pouring large amounts at once and one doing a finer finer amount. Using white, I often do use white, so I'm going to try and pour these um, pour these the same way. Let's see if we've got enough for the um, for the three cups. Actually, I might put that other blue up against that one. These had um, thickened up a bit because I because they've been sitting around. I've been sit sitting around. I've had some plastic cover, so I have added some extra float troll just to try and make them all the same consistency. Looks like we're only going to go one round of that one, so I might as well put the rest of the paint in. Oops. Go to grey. <laughs> I'm going to swap the order of these around just so that the one cup isn't always the one that's getting the last bits. Okay, it looks like we'll just have one layer of most things. Um, where will I go from here? I think I might go to this pink. another colour. I haven't put any extra silicon oil in so I, I think it's actually leftover paint that I've scraped up so I'll just put a bit of that in and see. I think it's a bit thicker. I need the volume. So we're going very multicoloured today.
that's put a bit of Floetrol in that um, dark grey. See if I can make a bit of consistency now that I've got room in the cup for it. It's still quite thick, isn't it? I think that'll do. Right. I just wanted these to be really full because I think these are only 200 ml cups, and uh, I normally do three cups on this size canvas that are 225 or 220 or something. Okay. So it, since it's so full, I'll take the easy way for the flip cup. Actually, while that's sitting, I can start with one of the other cups. And so I'm just going to pour this in a really big pour down the centre here. I guess I'll come back around again. So I'm going to have some lines there. Time to go off the edge. And this one I'm going to try and make a little bit of a spout. And um, I'm just going to go back and forth in a sort of a, a ribbon pour. A lot of that dark colour there, I'm going to have to go back over that. Give it a bit more of something. Still got plenty left of this one, which is surprising. Plenty of it. Okay, and then we'll do the, the flip flip and drag really to try and get the coverage. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that black is a bit too dominant. Just put this left over paint just to well, come on, help it move to the edge. Okay, so we'll give that a minute. Look at this, it's amazing. I'm just going to pop a few air bubbles. I'm not going to um, try not to go too close. Don't want too many more cells, but we'll see. I don't mind them up here though, there's so much black. Hopefully, there's some colour under that black, but we'll see when we. Um, when we um, make it thinner or we'll tip some of it off. Okay, let's, let's do this. So I'm just going to go to side to side a little bit. Take some of that black off. Just got to get that line. I might just pop that along for now. Wow, I've got plenty of paint. It's a surprise. corner down there a bit. I can see something here. It's trouble about using all paints. Well that's really interesting isn't it? Like so when you do when you're doing um, small rows, ribbons of the pour, you obviously getting the source, the, the cells are coming up in those rows so they are naturally smaller. 
Um, this core, this middle one, obviously had uh, a fair bit of black coming there. I'm just going to move it down. There's plenty of paint. I'm just going to move it this way a bit, which means, of course, I'm stretching out the, the cells that way. They'll be a bit longer. But I just want to get rid of some of that black. And then we've got the flip cup, which had lots of cells coming up, probably because of all the silicon oil that's in there. So I hope you've um, found that little experiment um, useful. I think the main one that's really different is the ribbon pour. Um, I still like the flip cup, the open open one here. Uh, I think it's just about the amount of paint I had that's come off. So with the with the flip cup, uh, you you know that you're getting the first colours in are going to be the last colours out as you as you go. Whereas I think with the open pour, somehow or other, that first, um, that flow, when well, I had a lot of that black in here at the end, this colour in the black, it really um, stayed a bit more dominant. So I hope you probably have to just be careful about the way you layer it a bit more to ensure that. So I just don't really want any more cells. But I'm just going to give it a, just a little, a little go for bubbles. corners So that's the uh, the ribbon ribbon pour. Here's the just the open cup pour. Again, I've, I've stretched those out too much the long ways, and the flip cup. Mm -hmm.